very happy that finally FDA、um, issued this statement officially. Fluoroquinolones such as levofloxacin, ciprofloxacin, and moxifloxacin are frequently used in both community and hospital settings.、Um, they are not only associated with adverse drug events such as tendonitis, QT prolongation, and decrease the threshold of seizure, but also it's associated with、um, C diff colitis,、uh, which associated with very high rate of、uh, mortality rate.、Um, so it's a it's a problem for all the major hospitals, all the hospitals. And、uh, fluoroquinolone, because it comes in different formulations, such as intravenous and oral formulation, it is a very popular agent to be used in the community and also、uh, to be discharged patient from the hospital back to the community.、Um, because of the overuse for many past years, and it has been have a lot of resistance for fluoroquinolone. So with the with being with that being said, so fluoroquinolone associated with、um, resistance, adverse drug events, and also、um, C difficile colitis. So we really would like to encourage our health staff to decrease、um, the inappropriate use of、uh, fluoroquinolone、um, if we can. We're hopeful that this new information will have a significant impact on overuse of this class of antibiotics. We know that the fluoroquinolone class of antibiotics is one of the most overused classes of antibiotics. They're used frequently for the types of infections where other antibiotics that are safer and equally effective can be used. Although this isn't exactly new information, there have been multiple warnings from the FDA about overuse of this class of antibiotics. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has emphasized the problem of antibiotic overuse, specifically with messaging around fluoroquinolones, for more than a decade. But I think the language, the very strong language that's used in this warning from the FDA. And the timing of this information. We're now at a time when antibiotic overuse is a very prominent public health topic, and the issue of antibiotic overuse is receiving a lot of attention right now. So I think the timing of this information is really valuable, and I think that this information will have an important effect on reducing overuse of fluoroquinolones. For many of the common infections that bring patients、uh, to see the doctor. There are effective antibiotic treatments that have proven the test of time. For sinusitis,、uh, the drug Augmentin or amoxicillin clavulinate, given for a week or two, clears the infection for most healthy children and adults. For bronchial infections like bronchitis or mild pneumonia,、uh, drug like azithromycin or clarithromycin、uh, can be very successful. In clearing the infection, as are drugs of the tetracycline class,、uh, like doxycycline. For urinary tract infections, which many women、uh, experience,、uh, the drug Bactrim,、uh, also known as trimethoprim sulfa, or Macrobid,、uh, are useful and effective drugs at eliminating、uh, the majority of infections. So while fluoroquinolones、uh, that the FDA Uh, is discussing now were listed among the original options for these infections. We now know that certain side effects、uh, are problematic enough that the risks outweigh the benefits, and these are no longer recommended as first-line treatments because of the variety of available options、uh, that have better safety profiles.